Hi, and welcome to this Cinemagraph Pro tutorial. My name is Jason Teal, and I'm going to take you through a great technique to put text or graphic overlays on top of your Cinemagraphs. Now, we're going to be using Cinemagraph Pro on the mobile today, as well as another app that I prefer to use called Over, and it puts things over your photos. Get it? Haha. <laughs> All right. Now, Let's get down to business. Uh, the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're just going to make some quick edits uh, to our cinemagraph here. And I am in the timeline and I'm just going to basically brush away um, what I want to have moving. Now you can brush in any of the um, areas on uh, the cinemagraph pro. Uh, but I prefer to stay in the timeline for this one because we're going to be exporting the file in a couple of moments. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Uh, I'm not going to take up too much time uh, trying to get this right. Okay, so I'm just going to brush away um, the area there that I want to keep moving. And then uh, basically I'm just going to quickly play around with the crossfade and just sort of hopefully clean it up a little bit uh, so that it looks a little bit more fluid and less jumpy. Um, and the reason what we're, why we're doing this uh, is so that we want to kind of have this effect that it's like a solid stream. So you are going to have to sort of play around a little bit to uh, get the jumpiness away, but I, th I think we're in the right ballpark. Yeah, that looks about good. All right, so now what we're going to do is export the photo. And I'm just going to add it right to my photo library. The check mark says it's done. And then I'm going to jump over into uh, Over. And I've got the image already uh, set up here. And this is what the still image basically looks like. Now, if you want to uh, start from scratch, you can jump over uh, and basically just click photos, your photo library, moments, and then you can add it in. And it's the same, pretty much the same way, but you know, as well, I just want to add it in quickly. So what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to add in a graphic, but you can see along the bottom, you can add in images, text, graphics, or shapes. And this is really why Over is a great app to use for this because it doesn't actually alter the dimensions of your photo as some um, other apps do. Now for this one, I'm going to choose a graphic and I've collected a few for this tutorial and they're sort of coffee related. So I'm just going to add in say this one here and it's going to bring it up right on top of the image. Now I'm going to uh, drag it over over to the left here and the cool thing about over is that you can just with the pinch or a zoom you can easily increase decrease rotate anything that you want to do and you can see that it'll actually put in guides for you now another cool feature about over that I really like is uh, the color controls so if I click on color I've got my color palette down here and you can sort of pull it around and um, basically adjust anything that you want to. But what I like to do is click on the circle and it'll bring up a color picker. And that will allow me to scroll around my image uh, to find a color that sort of best suits it. Now, I want this to be more coffee, so I'm going to hover over the coffee and find a nice shade, okay? Now you can add in different filters and whatnot, but I'm going to caution you against that right now because remember, we have cut a hole through the image. So any adjustments that we make here have to be done to the footage underneath. So if we add in a filter, you're going to see exactly where you've cut the uh, piece out to show the video. So I don't recommend adding any filters to your image. You can do that after you've completed your uh, cinemagraph. So I'm going to check uh, the mark here. And uh, I'm going to basically save it uh, to my um, file or my folder once again, uh, my photos. And then we're going to jump back into uh, Cinemagraph Pro. 
Okay, and then we're going to hit import this time, photo library, and we're going to go to the image that we just saved. And now you can see that it's the exact fit and there's no sort of uh, uh, shifting with any of the dimensions. It's all there perfectly. So now if you still want to add in a filter, you can just go to filters and you know choose any one that you want to. Uh, this one looks quite nice. It's nice and bright. And there you go. So uh, basically now we are done. There is our final image. It's all good to go. It looks amazing. We've got a steady flow of coffee coming in. It's amazing. All right. Well, that's our tutorial for today. Uh, if you're looking for a discount on Cinemagraph Pro, do use my name, Jason Teal, and you'll get a 20% discount on your apps plus uh, Flixel plan. And uh, do check out over. I'll put the link in uh, the description below. Take care and have a great day.